Hi friends, welcome back to Rouse Rising. Today I have for you an Azure Standard Haul. So if you wanna get straight to that, you can skip down below in this video's description in the chapters, we'll take you directly to my Azure Standard Haul. But first I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Azure Standard and how you can use it to benefit your life by saving money on quality organic goods. Let's get into it. If you're new to my channel or new to Azure Standard, you may be asking, what is Azure Standard? Well, it's a small family owned business that prides themselves on sourcing organic bulk foods that they share with the community. Now they have since grown over the years and now they offer nationwide drop locations to all sorts of places. They are based out of Moro, Oregon, and their warehouses are able to portion out bulk products for us so that we can get the most product that we want at the best price. Now, there aren't many places where I can find all of these products in one place, but Azure Standard sure has a variety. So I've gotten everything from dried beans and dried corn, wheat berries. These are things that I can use and store for long term and they're really awesome to keep in your pantry. If you don't have a long term uh, pantry storage situation, I definitely encourage you to do that. These wheat berries can last for up to 50 years if stored properly or even longer. And wheat berries are a great thing to have in bulk. This is just my countertop container. I have buckets of wheat berries that we can use to grind into flour or that we can soak and use in different meals. And it's a very nourishing food to keep. Bread is the food of life. And so if you haven't already invested in some long-term food stores, I definitely encourage you to do that. And with Azure Standard, they make it easy and simple to do that with quality bulk foods. So you can get your olive oils, you can get your dairy products, you can get raw dairy and organic dairy from Azure Standard, and you can get your produce in bulk like potatoes, apples, whatever's in season, they offer it through their uh, grocery shipping and grocery drop locations all across the country. So this isn't actually a store, it is you place your order online and then you're gonna go meet somewhere, a designated location that your Azure community has picked out and you're gonna go there at a specified date and time that you will be emailed after you place your order and you go there and help unload a large semi truck or tractor trailer and you get your products, load them up in your vehicle, take them home and enjoy. So that's how Azure Standard works. Without further ado, let's get into my grocery haul. This is my month of, well, it's gonna be for November because we are at the end of October and I'm not gonna have another Azure Standard haul until the end of November. So after Thanksgiving, like right after Thanksgiving. So I wasn't thinking or planning ahead when I made this haul. Um, or maybe I was because look at this 50 pound bag of organic russet potatoes that I got. My goal and my plan with this huge bag of potatoes is to make a very large batch of mashed potatoes and freeze dry them in the freeze dryer so that we can have mashed potatoes all winter long. All I have to do is add water from my trusty water kettle. Um, this was a gift from my uh, dad and his bride, Gail, and this is a Hayden water kettle. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it. All right, my first box of goods, and they repack everything and reuse boxes that they already have in their warehouses, so that makes it really nice that they're reusing things um, and boxing it in a convenient way. So they always give you their sale flyer. This flyer includes all their sales for the month of November. So I will be able to place an order in November, but it'll be later on in the month. If I need something sooner, I can order and have it directly shipped to my home. However, I try to avoid doing that and I try to stick to this method and do my once a month pickup. So in this box where they put a bunch of things together, we have a bag of all purpose unbleached flour. Tis the season to do lots of baking, and my plan is to share with you all lots of goodies this month, 
and uh, this is just gonna make life easier. I can grind, but I'm saving my wheat berries. You know, y'all know how it is. We've gotta save those wheat berries for, for a rainy day. We're just gonna say that. This 50 pound bag of potatoes was $56.25. That came out to $1.25 per pound or $6.25 per five pound bag of potatoes. Yeah, that should last us a while. Um, as you heard, I plan on making mashed potatoes in the freeze dryer with some of these. Stay tuned for that on my freeze drying adventures. And um, I also went ahead and grabbed a bag of these purple potatoes. This is a five pound bag of organic purple potatoes, $8.50. So we nabbed those two. This 10 pound bag of all purpose flour, this is organic flour. And for a 10 pound bag of flour, it is $15.76. This organic uh, mozzarella cheese, the Rumiano brand from Azure, this was $39.32 for five pounds, and it breaks down to $7.86 per pound. Of course, we needed lots of sour cream. Uh, my husband and kids like sour cream a lot, so I'm going to start getting this every month, a six-pack, and then once we're out of that, hey, we're out of it. Y'all got to conserve it a little better than that. Um, so this was $3.96 for each one of these little containers some cheese and we got more cheese we got cheddar cheese uh, I like to get their big blocks of cheese and I like to use my vacuum sealer and what I do is vacuum seal it in smaller portions sometimes I get their cheese and it's already divided up but these are in the big bricks the big blocks like this and these were six dollars and 72 cents per pound so i got 10 pounds for 67 dollars and 28 cents it's a lot of cheese it's certified organic non-gmo cheese not messing around getting the good stuff we've been buying some cheese from the store conventional cheese because it's inexpensive and cheap so we'll buy some shredded cheese on occasion and that kind of thing but the bulk of our cheese we do buy in bulk and we keep it in the freezer to use throughout the season or throughout the year. Uh, this is a very large bag of organic brown rice krispies. On my channel, I have shared with you how to make the rice krispies protein bars, and they're very, very good. So we went ahead and grabbed this huge bag. This is 28 ounces for $10.40. That way this season we can make all the rice krispie treats that we want to with our marshmallows, and we can just have a jolly good time with that. So we got a big bag of those. I grabbed 10 of these eight ounce or half pounds of butter and it came out to $5.86 for this European style organic butter from Rumiano. Again, same brand that I got all the cheeses in this month. I like to try different things out each month and so this is what I went with this month. The nice thing about butter is you can freeze it and so you can buy it in bulk or buy it in larger quantities and then save it. The deal with that is, is I have probably 10 different kinds of butter in my freezer right now and I just grab whatever I can reach and that's what I'm using up. So, um, we always have plenty of butter. We do cycle through it, so I do need to re remember to restock. Okay, this organic um, bag of, this is a five pound bag of dried organic mangoes and it comes out to $9.72 per pound, but this big large bag was $48.62. This is a snack for our family. This is what we snack on in addition to raisins and craisins and other dried fruits. This is our go-to. Um, you guys see in some of my other grocery hauls, we also get gummies and things like that, but we try to stick to fruits and vegetables for our kids as snacks, and we try to limit the over-processed types of foods. We want them eating whole foods, so we'll get them the mango. We'll buy them a bag of mango every month, and yes, it is a nearly $50 bag of mango, but this feeds my family of seven throughout the whole month for snacks, or maybe it feeds us for two months, depending on how well I'm able to stretch that. So to us, it's worth the investment to buy that um, as a monthly snack. And 
Some of you are wondering, what do I feed my kids? What do I give them to snack on? There you go, dried fruit. I just don't think that's that exciting to share on my page. We might do some dried fruit and salami and cheese on a, on a, you know, like a charcuterie board, but I, I just think everybody does that. Maybe I need to, sh maybe I should be sharing more of that with you all. Okay, right here, I also purchased two large bags of bread flour. This is the Unifine whole wheat uh, white bread flour. And it was, $18.85 for a 10 pound bag of organic milled flour. Last but not least, I thought I would try their extra virgin cold pressed olive oil and see how we like that. If we like it a lot and we go through this bottle this month, which we probably will, we go through about one of these a month. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and buy the big gallon bottle. Let me know, do you go through that or does it go rancid if you have gotten the, if you've gotten the olive oil from Azure Standard before, do you love it? Do you not love it? Do you wish you would have gotten the bigger bottle? So maybe next time I will get the bigger bottle, but this bottle was $21.93. So I will let you know what my total for all of this food from Azure Standard was. Definitely check out my link down below in this video's description to Azure Standard. When you use my link, it helps me maintain my affiliate status with them as well. It helps me out a lot by helping give me credit to afford groceries for my family. So you can do that too by sharing your personalized link. Once you sign up with Azure, you can share your link and when your friends and family make a purchase of $100 or more in groceries, you get a $25 credit to Azure Standard. That's one of the biggest perks that I found from using Azure is earning money towards future groceries. And I think that's really wonderful. Plus they have quality organic food in bulk that I cannot find anywhere near me. We live in a relatively remote location, so we are limited. We have a Walmart, a Fred Meyers, a few other grocery stores, but they don't have a lot of the foods in bulk that I want and desire in my life and that I use in my pantry and keep stocked up in my home. So it's best for me to use Azure Standard because they've got so many things that I cannot find locally. Check it out. Let me know what you think of them down below in the comments. Make sure you give this video a like. That is a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to Rouse Rising because you don't want to miss what's coming up next.
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!